Drilled a hole in the side of this? That's kind of weird. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Woodworking. So I've got a very interesting idea in mind. So I've drilled a hole in the top and that's for the worm screw, but I've drilled a hole in the side. So what I'm thinking, and we'll see if this works, I'm gonna turn it round and then with my uh, parting tool, I'm gonna cut a channel in here, probably, I don't know, maybe a half inch deep. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to wrap it in packing tape, wrap the top for so I got a little dam form up here, and I'm going to pour resin through here after I put a tenon on the other end. And so what this is going to be is a pencil cup. Um, so I've got a plastic kids cup that I've got a bunch of pencils in in the house, and my wife uh, you know wanted me to upgrade it. So I think this is a piece of mesquite may be different. It's got a very interesting uh, grain in the bottom. So that's what it's going to be. So it's going to be a pencil cup and it's a little on the short side so I want to raise it a little bit. So I'm going to put, uh, try to make some resin on the top. And I just thought it would be cool to have, uh, you know, a resin ring in the middle. So I'm trying to think of a good way to do that. We'll see if this actually works or not, but if it does, it's going to be cool. And then what I may wind up doing is putting another hole into the other side. So um, the resin has, uh, you know, uh, two escape routes. So let's get this on the lathe, get it turned around, get our channel cut in, mix up some resin and put it in here. Alrighty, well, we're just halfway there. Um, I was about to say, you know, here comes a bravery test, but I think that was that was a bravery test uh, when we drilled a hole in the side. Um, but let's get crazy and let's go. Let's wrap this thing up with some uh, packing tape. I'm going to use packing tape rather than the Tyvex tape that I used on um, the last project, the scrap bowl. Uh, I want to be able to see the resin, make sure it's going down in there. The only thing I'm concerned about is once the, the um, resin's down in here, and if there's any air bubbles in here, they're kind of going to be trapped in the side. Uh, but let's get it taped up first, and then we'll figure out the rest. I think I've got it taped up as much as it's gonna be. Let's hope uh, it holds the resin in. The only thing I was a little concerned about was, and why I cut the tape off, if I include that in the uh, video, is that the tape kinda comes in at an angle here, and I was worried I'm gonna lose some, some of the wood because I want the, the resin's gonna be in a little bit and not out like the bolt, the, the thing is going, it's going, in a slant. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. It's an experiment. It may work. It may not. It may be horrible, but who cares? We're, uh, we're playing. So we're going to get crazy and mix up some resin. I'm thinking, oof, I might go with six ounces of resin and see how that goes. So as always with Illuminite, um, it's equal parts by weight. So we're going to go with three ounces. And once you mix the, the two, you've got about seven minutes. So you don't want to dilly-dally 
You want to go with purpose. And let's see, come on. Perfect. All right, here we go with B. I'm supposed to reset the, uh, the scale and I didn't, so we're gonna go right at six. Try to get it on six. There it is, perfect. Couldn't do that again if I tried, eh? So let's get this cap back on here. Let's put some dye in and get it mixed up. Hopefully I don't lose the cap like I did on the black. Well, okay, that's good. Oh, that's right, I cut this one. Hmm. Should have done that on the black one. I don't, I don't know if you saw that in the video or not, but when I did the black for that scrap bowl, oh, I'm not even thinking. I should have mixed it first and then put the dye in. Ah, Ed, oh well. All right, we'll just stare it here for a minute. I usually like to see it go cl uh, cloudy and then clear so that I know that I got it mixed up. But again, an experiment. Just want to make sure that I, I scrape the sides down and get it really well incorporated. I should have stirred it first and then put the dye in, but oh well, got distracted making YouTube. Let's, uh, let's hope the tape holds. Let's get it in the pressure pot. And hopefully the tape will hold and uh, I won't have a not as deep pressure pot. All right, we'll leave it there and uh, come back and uh, tomorrow, see how it did. It's the next day and I haven't opened this up. Um, usually I do open it up before you guys get to see it. Sorry about that. Um, but I wanted us all to be a surprise uh, today. So I'm gonna open this up. It's either going to look really good or not so good, but it's okay. We're gonna go forward either way. So let's open this bad boy up. All right, let's take the hose off. Get you out of the way. And let's release some of this pressure. Okay. All right, did it leak out or did it solidify? Insert drum roll here. Didn't leak out. Okay, all right. Let's uh, get this out of here. All right, all in all, I think it uh, came out well. So let's get it uh, chucked back up on the lathe.
Well, that's just embarrassing. I was speaking for about five minutes. Some of you might be like, gosh, I'm glad I didn't hear that. Um, but I was speaking, I said some prophetic words and the camera wasn't even rolling. The camera's rolling now, so let me catch you up. So we did uh, finish the outside. It's got a really nice finish so far. I slanted this here to take care of some of the, um, the tape where it moved in, hollowed it out with a two inch Forstner bit. So I'm going to get you guys swung around, finish hollowing it out. Just going to use the, the, the uh, square carbide with the negative rake and take it straight in down to the bottom. Don't need any fancy uh, fanciness for this one. But So let me get you guys swung around and let's get this thing going and get a finish on it. I got a little light down in so you can see the, uh, let's turn it down just a little bit. So you can see the, uh, the resin come through. So that was pretty cool. Um, I gotta say that was a lot of fun. It turned out perfectly. I don't see any air bubbles in there. Um, the shape is just great. Um, probably can't see it from there, but I did put my, uh, logo in the bottom. It, uh, the grain is uh, beautiful. Uh, the end grain at the bottom is, is stunning. So I will call this a success. Um, I, I love it. And it's just, uh, it was a lot of real, a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video too. I want to thank all of my new subscribers and my old subscribers, but the channel seen a, a good bit of growth here lately. And I, and I want to say thank you to everybody. It really means a lot to me. Uh, you know, if you could share the videos, uh, you know, that would also help me. But anyway, thank you. Um, if this is something that you enjoyed and you want to see, you know, more videos like this, click here. If you're not a subscriber, I encourage you to become one by clicking up here. Click that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And, uh, you know, as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day and thank you.